There's no point in saying good morning because it certainly is not one. This morning, the radical Supreme Court is eviscerating Americans' rights and endangering their health and safety. But the Congress will continue to act uh, to overcome this extremism and, pr extremism and protect the American people. Today, the Republican-controlled Supreme Court has achieved their dark, extreme goal of ripping away a woman's right to make their own dis reproductive health decisions. Because of Donald Trump, Mitch McConnell, and the Republican Party, their supermajority in the Supreme Court, American women today have less freedom than their mothers. With Roe and their attempt to destroy it, radical Republicans are charging ahead with their crusade to criminalize health freedom. In the Congress, be aware of this, the Republicans are plotting a nationwide abortion ban. They cannot be allowed to have a majority in the Congress to do that, but that's their goal. And if you read, and again, we're all studying all this, but if you read what is in the very clear, one of the justices had his own statement. It's about contraception, in vitro fertilization, family planning, that is all what will spring from their decision that they made today. It's such a contradiction. Yesterday, the, say, the states <clears throat> cannot make laws governing the constitutional right to bear arms, and today they're saying the exact reverse, that the states can overturn a constitutional right for 50 years, a constitutional right for a woman having the right to choose. The hypocrisy is raging, but the harm is endless. What this means to women is such an insult. It's a slap in the face to women about using their own judgment to make their own decisions about their reproductive freedom. And again, it goes well. I always have said the termination of a pregnancy is just their opening act. It's just their front game. But because, but beyond, behind it, and for years, I have seen in this Congress opposition to any family planning, domestic or global, when we have had those discussions and those debates and those votes on the floor of the House. This is deadly serious, but we are not going to let this pass. A woman's right to choose, reproductive freedom, is on the ballot in November. We cannot allow them to take charge so that they can institute their goal, which is to criminalize reproductive freedom, to criminalize it. Right now, they're saying in states that they can arrest doctors and all the rest. What is happening here? What is happening here? A woman's fundamental health decisions are her own to make in consultation with her doctor, her faith, her family, not some right-wing politicians of, that Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell packed the court with. While Republicans seek to punish and control women, Democrats will keep fighting ferociously to enshrine Roe v. Wade into the law of the land. This cruel ruling is outrageous and heart-wrenching, but make no mistake, again, it's all on the ballot in November. The Supreme Court has ended a constitutional right. This is 50 years proclaimed a constitutional right. What happened today was historic in many respects historic in that uh, it had not granted recognized a constitutional right and then reversed it. This is a first. And again, just before it imposed a constitutional right to allow for concealed weapons. 
How about those justices coming before the senators and saying that they, they respected sorry to say, the, the precedent of the court, that they respected the right of privacy in the Constitution of the United States. Did you hear that? Were they not telling the truth then? Again, 